Now, when we talk about this condition that befalls people who relocate to a different climate than the one they originally hail from, it is very important to distinguish between two factors, namely acclimatization and adaptation. Acclimatization is what happens when your body, over a relatively short period of time, becomes accustomed to the conditions that are different in nature from your normal climate. Whereas adaptation takes generations, centuries even. Adaptation is a continuous and even perpetual process that will never cease as long as living organisms inhabit the earth. As it is an axiomatic outset for life to evolve and adapt. This is a call for the remaining passengers traveling about Airpods Flight 1751 of Bashargon. Can we proceed directly to gate 821? The process of biological adaptation all began, as most scientists agree, when the first single cell organism turned into the first double cell organism. However, the perpetual nature of the history of adaptation was the exodus from Africa around 100,000 years ago. Since then, mankind has settled further and further away out into increasingly uninhabitable and sometimes hostile places. This striving for new frontiers has allowed us, through vigorous adaptation, to inhabit a significant portion of this planet. I don't think there was ever a time in my childhood where I wasn't sick. Not dying exactly or anything, but just constant ear infections and bronchitis, always blocked nose. Every night I would lay my head on my big teddy bear and stuff pieces of toilet paper in my nose to balance the stuffiness. It became a ritual. I was a shy kid, always hiding behind my mother's skirts. I never got that much sleep. The doctors always fed me with penicillin. It happened eight to ten times a year during the winters. The year I turned 12, I got diagnosed with asthma. The doctor didn't even touch me. And never, never looked me in the eyes. Told my mother it was asthma, and with the right medicine, I would be fine. I remember all the time being diagnosed with something. All from asthma, deep depression, lung failure. The feeling of relief was present every time a diagnosis was given. Always the hope that I would feel normal with just the right amount of medicine and therapy. The great ocean currents play an important role in the global climate. Many of these interactions are still not fully understood. But there's no doubt that if global warming affects the ocean currents, it will have a tremendous impact on the climate. And it will disturb the delicate balance the global climate is in today. Even though this condition of the immune system is a relatively new discovery, the condition itself is by no means new. Since the Industrial Revolution, however, it has become ever more apparent. With the emergence of modern-day transportations, 
not least when it became available to every man, it enabled us to travel great distances in very short periods of time, and this factor alone is very important in understanding the fundamentals of this condition. The genetic makeup of a person is a process that started millions of years ago. One single individual encapsulates this genetic melting pot, and that can describe any of us really. The Gulf Stream is one of the ocean currents which is important for the climate in the Northern Hemisphere and especially Northern Europe. The Gulf Stream brings the warm water from the tropical regions north along the coast of Europe up to Northern Norway, South and East Greenland and Svalbard. I couldn't concentrate or focus on anything in school except when reading when I could escape into another world, be a part of someone else's life, someone else's body. I was sociable, and the other kids liked me. The teachers were frustrated. They knew I was not stupid, and to them it looked like I was lazy. And that was what they told my parents. Though I was shy, I still got the attention of a group of older kids. The kind of kids your parent, without filter or reflection, tells you not to play with. <laughs> I did it anyway. The excitement made my body numb. I was still constantly sick. I began to experiment with drugs. It took my focus away from school away from always feeling different. The sickness, headaches, nausea, and the pain, it all just disappeared. Sure, it all came back when the effects wore off, but then there was always another line. Even if I wanted to, I'm not sure I could give a detailed story of those years. I managed to push my parents to the edge of despair. Stealing, drugs, and dropping out of school. I tried several suicide attempts, but none of them were probably thought through. After an episode with my mom, I ended up in a psychiatric hospital. I was diagnosed with a deep depression, and I was hospitalized. I was given antidepressives and a lot of therapy. My head was fucked. The large amounts of heat the Gulf Stream brings with it means that the climate in Northern Europe, especially Scandinavia and Northern Norway, is much warmer than you might expect given its location. Denmark, for example, is just as far north as the southern part of Hudson Bay in Canada, where the climate is subarctic, which is far colder than the temperate climate of Denmark. Northern Norway, where the sea is ice-free all the year round, is on the same latitude as northern Canada and northern Siberia, where the climate is arctic. This major climate difference is solely due to the warmth generated by the Gulf Stream. All this could change dramatically, however, if global warming is allowed to continue. Scientists predict that the global warming above 2 degrees Celsius will lead to an increasing risk that the pump that keeps the Gulf Stream going Will collapse resulting in far less warmth coming northwards to northern Europe. Climate models show a 50% probability 
that the Gulf Stream will be significantly weakened or completely stopped with a global heat increase of between 2 and 5 degrees Celsius. That this prediction is more than just a theoretical probability was demonstrated by measurements made in 2004, which showed that the Gulf Stream apparently stopped altogether for a period of 10 days in November 2004.